Wouldn't it be nice if in the world we had such warnings and always knew what to do when a potential crisis might occur? It gives me tremendous pleasure to welcome you today to the ninth annual Gulf Research Meeting. And I want to take the opportunity to thank Dr. Abdulaziz Seger, chair and founder of the GRC. Through his leadership, the GRC has developed into one of the premier international conferences on the study of the Gulf region, showcasing the work of scholars such as you from the Gulf and elsewhere, bringing together myriad voices and diverse perspectives in one location here in Cambridge. As the Gulf states diversify their economies, it's important to discuss and work through the challenges and the opportunities posed by the social changes that this brings. It's also a time of considerable political turmoil. That word has been used twice already. As the Gulf states navigate treacherous shoals of relations with Saudi Arabia, Iran, and the United States of America. The program for the conference promises real engagement with these issues. Workshops focus on the Gulf states within the global community, examining the ways in which issues like migration, international finance, and Gulf states' relations with foreign states and regions, including Iraq, China, and East Asia, in addition to the ones I mentioned, can be addressed by the Gulf states and their partners. These are areas that align closely with the research interests here at the University of Cambridge, and many of our most acclaimed academics, such as Professor Sir Richard Friend, Professor Lynn Gladden, and Professor David Cardwell have found success working with colleagues in the region on a wide range of topics. Recently, a delegation from Cambridge returned from some of the leading art museums and collections in the UAE, which allowed scholars of Cambridge and the Gulf to engage on issues of cultural production and exchange. And the university has been the beneficiary of considerable generosity from the Gulf region, including the Kuwait Foundation for the Advancement of Sciences, which established the Kuwait Mathematics Program over a decade ago, His Majesty Sultan Qaboos of Oman, who established a professorship of modern Arabic and a professorship of the Abrahamic faiths. And we're privileged to host the uh, His Royal Highness Prince Alawid Center of Islamic Studies which promotes the understanding of the role of Islam and Muslims in wider society in this global age. As I'm sure you are aware, the university is a research-driven organization where individual researchers are free to pursue their own lines of inquiry and collaboration. Bringing together so many excellent critical minds over the last uh, while and the next few days promises to spark, I'm sure, new questions, and I hope, new collaborations. I'm delighted that colleagues at this university are working in partnership to address global challenges affecting the Gulf region. I hope that you have a very productive conference, and I'm sure that you'll find in Cambridge a welcoming community of rigorous thinkers. I'm only sorry that I can't join you for your deliberations because I think they really are extraordinarily important, not just for the Gulf region, but indeed right now for the wider world. So I wish you a very successful conference. And again, thank you, Dr. Great, wonderful, wonderful work over many years, Dr. Sigar, and best wishes, good luck to all of you. Thank you very much.